Oh, isn't she beautiful? I'm calling it the Reach Electric. You know, I really don't know why every time I build a base, it ends up in a tower. You know, like, if you go back on my, my channel, you're just gonna find tower bases. Like, tower bases, the Reach Tower, the Reach Tower, whatever, but... This one, this one's super cool, and I haven't even tested it, so we'll test it on the video for you guys. But first, let me explain how it works. There's a lot of electric fences in here, and if you go like into the base, you can see that the electric fences are gonna cause a lot of trouble to the zombies. I kind of feel sorry for them in some way. So the zombies are gonna come inside here, they're gonna climb this, and when they're climbing this, it's gonna be a hell of a mission for them to get right to the tip top to fight me right over there or all there. This is like a two-in-one base as well because like both these bases are separate in some sort of way. And then you got dart guns like right over there. So the dart guns will shoot them as they're climbing the ladder. It's quite a straightforward base actually if you think about it. Anyway, um, so yeah the electric fences are gonna do a hell of a lot of work there and then what I've done is so if we get into the main base like over here we can go on the side like this, and then we can actually repair the electric fences during Mint Horde Night, like on this ladder. So that's great. That's always nice to have, right? And if you go inside the main base, you've got the ladder that is slightly higher, so then the zombies don't detect that as a path. If um, you ever are, end up on the roof, you can jump up here, right to the tip top, and you can access the dart guns from here, as well as you can shoot the zombies as they're climbing. Oh yes, it's going to be so satisfying. And you can throw grenades down there as well, and Molotovs if you're brave, because throwing a Molotov between these two things isn't going to be too great, I'll tell you that now. But yes, and then if you like, that side is not doing too hot, you can go and run down this side, and then you can use this side instead. If you've got a friend, even better. I'm even thinking about putting an electric fence inside this room, I'm not sure. But uh, all the electric fences and all that is run for one uh, machine which is sitting over here. I don't think... My dart guns are actually um, done right now, so I'll get that set up before we start the zombie thing. As always, guys, there will be a build video uh, at the end of the video. So if you want to go watch how to build this step by step, there'll be a fast forwarded bit at the end that you can slow down in, in YouTube settings if you want to just like slowly follow it. That's fine. And because I'm going to be uh, even nicer now, I'm going to start saving my bases again and putting it on Discord. So if you want to just go ahead and download the base, that's okay as well. I'm gonna do that for you right now and then just go and upload it to my Discord as well. Uh, what are we gonna call this? This, like I said, this is gonna be called the Reach Electric. I think that's a good one, right? I hope so. Reach Electric. Perfect. Oh, a tower. I got a bit tower. There you go. And as always, guys, if you want to help support the channel even more, go and smack that like button in the face, and you can subscribe as well. That also helps, you know, you can get some notifications to some of my future videos, maybe get in touch with the community, join my Discord. There's a lot going on everywhere. I got public 7 STI servers as well, so come join. Okay, Horde Night's about to start. Let's activate the electric fences. This is just going to be a little bit of a test to see how well this goes, guys. See if we can uh, handle the zombies. And also, I'm quite curious if they actually uh, path very well. Because I didn't really test the pathing too much. So we're going to soon see what actually happens with the pathing. I'm pretty sure they're going to go straight for the ladders. I don't think they're going to go and attack anywhere else. They're straight inside there. And then they're going to climb. And that's where things get really, really, really hard for them. It's going to take them a long time. And then we can activate the dart guns. Man, that is loud. And that should solve our problems, right? Is that solving our problems? Hey, hello. I mean, is that working? Yes, I would say it's working pretty well. And then we can just sit here and what we can actually do is chuck a grenade down there. There you go. That's bad news for them. Ooh, I felt that one, man. I like how the fact is if you stand up here, the zombies still target the ladders as a, as a path. That's, that's great. I'm not too concerned about the vultures. Yeah. This is going great, guys. So far. It's just standard zombies. I don't think a cop zombie can actually see me from that distance. Please stop that. Thank you. There, there's a cop zombie there. Can he see me from down there? I think he can, actually, because I did see him do the animation there for a second. And I'm quite curious now, what if I stand inside the base and do absolutely nothing, right? Will they eventually make it to the top? 
Yeah, they do. Look at that. But the time they make it to the top, it's like, well, they're practically almost dead, so... Die! Die! Yeah, the vultures, but not too worried. Hi! Easy pickings. Easy pickings. Die! Can probably stand. Yeah, they, they are they are parting really well in this space, guys. The, the parting in this is really good. I'm kind of happy about that. I was a little bit worried that they might not part this properly, but it's going great, guys. Throw that down there, and boom! That kills a lot of zombies, guys. How are the? I think there is a dot gun that's out of dots. Can't be right. Why does it make so much noise? Everything is going okay. So we got no rads or anything, it's just a standard horde night. You can see they're all making their way. There's some zombies down there that have no idea what's going on. Look at them down there, guys. They're so confused. They have no idea. Go and chuck another grenade down there. Oh my goodness, okay, gotta watch out for that. That's okay. Uh, grenades don't do too much block damage, so it should be fine. Yeah, this is working out actually way better than I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's why I love to do these tests on videos for you guys, because it's like... live kind of thing. Oh my goodness, just die. Yeah, let's... stay inside. I mean, they're not even making their way up here. I was worried that they'll all push their way up to the top, and then I'll be overwhelmed here. Doesn't seem to be happening. In fact, you can actually just chuck a grenade from here. There you go. Oh wow, I don't think that went where I wanted it to go. There you go, right there. No, wait. Okay, I think that went... There you go, killed some. Just chuck grenades here. Perfect. The grenade... Oh wow, just saw an arm fly. The grenade tower. Hey! Okie dokie guys, daytime, not much to say, uh, only good things, which is great, I'm glad it actually worked out okay. I uh, didn't go through the entire horde night because it is going really well, there's nothing really much to say. They were not really hitting on much down below, you can see there's a little bit of damage, let's just get a hammer out quickly and see exactly what they were doing here. Um, yeah, it's very minimal, very 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 minimal. Doesn't look like... I think they were attacking on those, but you know what? It doesn't really matter if they attack on those pillars. It doesn't do anything. It's just a decoration kind of thing. That base can hold up itself. It doesn't actually need those pillars. Uh, it went really well, guys. Really, really, really well. I highly recommend a base like this, especially if you can sit up the top here and just shoot down. You can use your, your bow and arrow, or whatever you want to do. You can put a cage on the top as well. By the way, in the build video that I did, I never actually included the dart guns, so you can, you can do that when you get a chance. I just did the base, the standard base, I didn't even do the painting. There's no dart guns in the build video, but everything else has been built, just add dart guns. And then I added the, the, the engine right here for the dart guns. Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guys, if you want to help support the channel, go and check out my Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff on there, and you can uh, support me by... Paying monthly, and you can join our servers for free, by the way. They are all public. You can find that information on my Discord. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The build video for this thing is showing up right now.
Stop myself for a while.